All right, so welcome back. Today we're jumping back onto the 4x4 mower build. So what we're gonna to do today is machine up some new um, hub adapters. So these are 4x100 and we wanna to go to 4x156. Now the reason why I've gone so big um, is because there's actually a Polaris stud pattern um, and in Australia we can get those rims quite easily in 12 inch. And for the rear, I've ordered some Polaris uh, 4x156 hubs. Now they're 26 spline, so hopefully they suit our CV. Now they haven't turned up yet, so let's just jump on to making the fronts. All right, so I got this drill press finally fixed, uh, the motor in there, it was actually quite cheap to do. Um, it was binding up inside, so they sorted that out for us. So now we can actually use this drill press, which is gonna be super handy. But the return spring on the side there is actually broken. Um, as you can see, it just doesn't spring back. That was the original one. Um, if you guys know where to get one or anywhere that sort of sells them, um, I did try and put a Chinese one in. As soon as I went down, it snapped. So it was pretty bad quality. But yeah, it seems like an odd size and I just can't find any online. But yeah, just comment below if you guys know. Okay, so before I get a heap of comments down below about this, the tool is sticking out a lot. Um, I did want to bring it back to here, but we just don't have enough room on this uh, gantry because these are just so big. So we'll just see how this goes. Alright, so I've just heated this thing up in the oven. Hopefully it hasn't stunk it out. So a while back I picked up these uh, cone-shaped drill bits, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're kind of like a step drill bit, but obviously haven't got the step there. So uh, I've just used this one to machine the hub for the ball joint. Um, and I'm just, I'll am just i show you here. So basically I've got the th so it come as a three pack. This is the biggest one. I'm going to run that one down there a little bit more and then we can bolt our ball joint into the top there. Um, as you can see, I've already done this side here. So we've got that bolted there. Uh, we'll put a split pin through obviously to retain it. Now that's just lowered that nicely down into this hub. Um, and then we can sort of redo our top arm. I was having trouble there. It was binding up. I didn't realize you obviously have to have these both on the same sort of plane to be able to move up and down. A little bit of a rookie mistake. Okay, so I just noticed there's a little bit of movement in this bearing, and I just wanted to mention to you guys that I haven't um, altered these or anything, so we can still take these apart and service that bearing inside. You can still buy them online. Uh, this is just changing the PCD pattern. So yeah, we can still press that off and put a new bearing in if we have to, which we most likely will on this one in the future. All right, so here is one of the rear CV axles we're going to be using for this build. Um, now, 
the hubs that I ordered finally turned up. These are actually Polaris uh, Razor or something hubs. Anyway, they're 26 spline and so are these axles. So I went to go put this on here. And as you can see at the front there, it is just a bit of a loose fit. So unfortunately, they aren't going to work. I just had to measure them off the listing on Amazon. So I've just gone ahead and made up another set of these hubs. So we're going to weld these like we did on the fronts um, onto the uh, rear uh, original hubs that we had here. All right, so we've got our adapter um, tacked onto the new hub here. So what I've made up here is a cardboard template of the, well, I suppose you'd call this the hub of what we're going to build. Um, so our top A arm will come off here and our bottom will come out and off here. All right, so what we've done there is we removed that back section of the mower. Um, I centered uh, a mark there as well for where the wheel's gonna go in the wheel arch um, of that back section. And we've leveled out the frame there. As you can see, it's nice and level. Um, also, well, it is sort of hard to work with this floor too because we've got a crack right there. Anyway, it's about as level as we're gonna get it. Also, I've made um, sure that the hub is sitting at zero degrees because this will be fully compressed suspension. Now what we're going to do is shorten up these bottom arms I've got. So we're going to bring those back. And I'm thinking what we're going to do is just run down two simple pieces, possibly down here, and then run our CV axle through the center of it. And that way, then we can make up some top arm mounts and it'll be fairly simple. We use the same uh, thick stuff as the frame and that'll just save on materials. And then we can sort of brace it all with that one inch tubing that we've got.
All right, so just made up these little tubes here. These will be our bottom uh, A-arm mounts, and these are off a, just a shackle bush. And I got given a heap of these plates um, when I bought that lathe over there a while back, and I've just had nothing, real, no real use for them. So I'm actually thinking what I'll do, I'll cut straight off there and we'll use them as tabs, and that'll save me having to drill a whole heap of holes and make up a heap of tabs and sand them all down. So that'll make use of those. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. This thing is pretty much a roller. This looks like an absolute beast and I'm super happy with how it turned out. Now, as you can tell quite noticeably, the rear suspension is quite wider than the front. Now, I have done that because I wanted a bit more of a footprint out further on the ground, being that this thing's gonna be 500 cc. I was going to extend that front suspension in today's video, but the welder decided to run out of gas and this video is getting quite long, so I just thought I'll wrap it up here and finish that in the next video. So I made this rear A-arm um, just a little bit bigger, so we've got enough room to mount our shock absorber and sort of a bit to play with with the CV axle as well. Now, I think this is roughly where we want the uh, height of the lawnmower to sit. I think that's pretty good off the ground. We've got a fair bit of good clearance there. Uh, we may go a little bit lower just being that these have sort of come down a little bit more. But the plan is to run a CV spool in the rear. So this will be direct drive, chain driven, both rear wheels. And in the front there, we're gonna run a uh, chain drive differential. So that'll mean that each front wheel can slip and we will actually be able to turn this thing while we're going around corners and stuff. So yeah guys, that's gonna be all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you guys are enjoying this build. Now in the next video, we will be building that uh, chain drive differential for the front and the CV spool for the back and then we can hopefully put the motor in this thing. So definitely stay tuned for that one. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in the next one.